Is that the most typical Greek view you have ever seen in your life? This is what I used to think of when I thought of Greece. These kinds of blue tables overlooking the sea and the mountains in the background. Welcome to the beautiful Greek island of Kefalonia. We are in Sami today and we're going to go looking for some caves in the next town over. Join us, should be fun. One of the activities you can do in Sami is rent a pirate ship. Up there ahead is the town of what's it called? Caravomulus. What? Ca Caravomulus. Caravomulus. So we're going to Caravomulus to find these caves, Melisani Caves. Look at the beautiful blue sea and the mountains and some wind farms. So maybe we can explain to you a little bit about Kefalonia. It used to be a British island, in fact, uh, we found out. Um, part of the United States of the Ionian Islands. So you've got uh, Kefalonia, you've got Zakynthos, you've got Corfu, uh, Paxos as well, Lefkada, some of these Ionian islands. And then they were handed over to Greece in the mid 1800s to become part of Panos's country, Greece. And this, everybody, is Panos. He's my main man. It's going to be a big part of the channel for years to come. Uh, so let's everybody say hi to Panos. Hi! <laughs> we actually haven't seen each other for about 18 months. 19 months, in fact. Because um, of all of this coronavirus business, all of this stuff going on in the world. But we finally managed to link up again in the beautiful island of Kefalonia. We're going to go find the Melisani Caves. And uh, we're not going to look on Google Maps because Google Maps works really well in some countries. Uh, but not necessarily here in Greece. We're already finding a small problem. The bridge is down. The bridge is down. There are some works over here. So I think we're going to have to walk over here. What do you think? I'm up to. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see. <laughs> These people up ahead seem to be just standing there waiting for the bridge to be repaired. Well, they're going to be waiting for a long time. All right, we go down here. Oh. I go, yeah, there's a river mouth here. It's beautiful, it's the biggest river in Catalonia. Maybe. <laughs> right, it's getting a bit deep, but we're okay. We saw that old couple um, walking across and it was fine for them. Ah, oh, yeah, it's nice. In my lifeguard. In my lifeguard. Lifeguard, I think you're gonna be okay. Oh uh, look, it's the original Isthmus, which Isthmus is named after. <laughs> well, the bay where Sami is, it's a bit of a paradise. The only thing is, the beach is completely uh, pebble rocks. So it's hurting our legs a little bit, walking across them. But maybe they could uh, clear up the rubbish as well sometimes. That's why that bee was chasing you yesterday, Panos. I'm a bee, I'm a bee, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a bee. You are not going to believe this. There is another bridge down and we're going to have to walk around again. And this one looks a bit more challenging. Are you ready uh, to do your best Crash Bandicoot impression? Oh yeah. Here we go. Yeah. It's not slippy. There we go, easy peasy. Oh wow, the hotels look a bit fancier down in this town. finally found a bridge that's working today, which is in good order. I wonder what's making all the bridges collapse around here. Bad weather in the winter, maybe. Mm -hmm. We found the football stadium of uh, Calavomiti, or whatever it's called. <laughs> Calavomiti. Calavomiti. All right, we've arrived in Caravomilos, and we're gonna look for the main street. I wasn't expecting to see a British car. In Kefalonia, think of how they must have got here. Ferry crossing to France and then 
down all the way through Greece and then the ferry crossing to here. So actually only two ferry crossings, so it's not that impossible, but yeah. A long old journey down through all the European countries. If you're ever in Caravomilo, I still can't say the name, uh, and you want to watch a football match, don't bother buying a ticket, just come up here and you can watch it for free. Look, what a view. Just one guy training, probably in quarantine, doing it a Harry Kane style. These beautiful streets. All right, we're on the main street of Caravomilu now. There's a lot going on. Did you know there's a lake in Caravomilu? Down behind these trees, I guess. Probably more like a pond than a lake, but yeah, there you go. There you go, you can see it, wow. A lake right next to the sea, what's the point? There's this statue over here, let's have a look. Uh, who is this guy? Themos Amor something. As far as I can understand, he's from Sami area. And he was making songs, traditional songs, and uh, he, was in, he was involved with poetry as well. And he lived until the ripe old age of 84. One of the biggest names of this area. She has a statue in the city centre. City center. About 34 degrees today, so it's important to stop and take water breaks very regularly. So we're doing it here in this beautiful little square, in the shade. Hey, we found the turn off for the lake, the Melisani Lake. Oh, and we've got a car coming on to us. Here's the car park, quite a bit busier than I was expecting. So basically, it is a lake in a cave. Exactly. You enter through this archway. Five minutes. Five minutes. Nope. It's pretty steep. You can see from here, maybe the, uh, the water, it actually looks like uh, you might expect at a swimming pool. Very, very blue. It's lovely, like kind of a turquoise color. Guys, check this out. Look at this. Love the reflection of the water up against the stones, up against the rock. This is a combination of the sea water and the mountain water. Ah, so like more pure spring kind of water. So it's like wow. a combination. It's not salty, but it's not drinkable. Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't try and drink it. This is 15 meters deep right now. 15 meters, all right. Uh -huh. Wow, 15 meters, you don't want to fall in there. Unless you can swim, of course. Now you see, we're going into the cave. Now we're going to the deep, deep, deep part. And there's this rope here to help the navigation, I guess. Wow. Usually, in the past you can continue even if it was uh, easier to move in to end up to Karavomlos that were before. So the water starts from the other part of the island. And it comes all the way through. All the way through and you end up to the other part of the island. It's incredible. So the island is kind of split in half by these waterways, um, but it's still one connected island because of the land on top of it. Incredible. You see the foggy part? And every now and then you get some uh, drops of water from the roof dropping on you. Yeah. And there's these incredible structures. Look, you can see some of the rocks are just dangling from the top. And these long lengths coming down. Wow. You know the creepy part? This was in the top and fell down. Wow. All this thing that you see right now, it was up there. It was all up there and it fell down. Yep. Yeah, you can see like the rock is a bit different on the on, on the roof of the cave. <laughs> you 
These guides must get tired doing this all day. <laughs> Rowan, you've got to have good arms. If you want to be a medicine, well, kind of stuff. 30, 40 times per day. 30, 40 times per day, wow. Yeah, so you're talking seven or eight hours per day doing that. And you see now the water, because it's the river, is moving the boat that way. So this is the, the way that the river starts from the west to east. So this is where the waters meet, I guess. Yeah. Oh, and every now and then you get the sight of uh, some water droplets falling down. And there's this beautiful opening here where the sun shines down. It's really, it's really not that deep right now. Ah, yeah. Yeah, this is all of this material that you see here used to be on top of the cave and now it's fallen down. Who knows how many years ago, but it's there and that's why this part of the lake is more shallow. Five thousand years ago, this fall down from the roof. Okay, so we do know it was five thousand years ago that the uh, material came down. Right, so that's the tour. Cristo. So it wasn't fifteen minutes as advertised in the end, but it's kind of understandable because it's the high season. Um, they got to get lots of people through. We were standing in the. Uh, in the line for a long time for about half an hour in the end but it was good to see highly recommended do come and uh, check this out if you're ever on kefaloni yeah and try not to come in the high season like us this is a really cool one sorry <laughs> look at this picture yeah. bad boys thumbnail for the video <laughs> um on the way in and i asked panos uh, why have they reduced the price from seven to six euro and uh, we didn't know, uh, but we reckon it might be because the trip's a little bit shorter than uh, during the low season. They advertise a 15 minute journey and we got nine minutes on the boat, we reckon. Look around everybody traveling in their fancy cars and there's us. We like, a, we like to walk between the <laughs> Kefalonian villages, exploring the island on foot. Would you drive a car like this? With wheels made from plastic. Beer. We decided to try the Kefalonian local beer on the way back. A quick sweep. Oh, it's nice, it's like one of these unfiltered kind of ones. Really? From the Kefalonian and Ithaca microbrewery. And pasteurized. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's a lager, really good. Like it. What a perfect spot to sit and have a beer, guys, yeah? So guys, do you remember earlier that uh, place which I said looked like the perfect Greek outdoor restaurant? Well, we're here now and uh, we've got a Greek salad, we've got some eggplant, we've got some table wine and uh, I thought this would be a nice way to finish off our little trip out. Now the fish has arrived, we've got fried anchovies and grilled sardines. Final thing to try has arrived, it's a Catalonian pie. And it's got rice in it and beef and pork. Exciting times in the port of Sami as the Ionian Pea Lines pulls into port. It's the second biggest event to happen here today. Of course, the other event will be the Levante Ferry coming in from the mainland. From Valencia. Yeah. <laughs> from Valencia, apparently. <laughs> so what about the food? Well, a Kefalonian pie, difficult to keep together, but absolutely delicious, loving that. It's basically rice with now some pastry around it. And the cheese in the Greek salad is a real highlight. Nice and salty. But for me, my favorite from this meal is probably the aubergine. It's nice and smoky, absolutely delicious on a bit of bread. Well guys, the food has defeated us. But the good news is, if you do come to Carnaggio Tavern, 
<laughs> is that you can have a doggy bag to take away with you. They'll put it in a little container for you and you can take it home and finish it later. So this Kefalonian pie, we will finish later with some beer. So. The amazing boat that is going back to Ithaca in a while. And a small boat that is coming back from a day trip to Ithaca. It's been a fun one. Take care guys from the beautiful island of Kefalonia. Goodbye. Bye. Hello everybody, this is my friend Panos and he's having a battle with a bee. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! <laughs> this was a perfect way to introduce Panos to all the Hello Antonio subscribers. <laughs> no, this is not right. Panos is going to be a very big part of the channel over the coming years. He's the person I've travelled with the most in my life, except probably my parents. And uh, <laughs> I haven't seen him for 19 months, so it's our first day seeing each other, and he's having a battle with a bee on the beach. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, we're in beautiful Kefalonia, look at this. Surrounded by beautiful countryside, a beautiful beach, well it's a pebble beach, but it's, uh, the town is called Sami. We're in the town of Sami. There's a nice port over there, we came by ferry earlier today. And now we're just chilling out with a few beers, our first beers together in months and months and months. <laughs> but for some reason the bee just keeps chasing Panos and it's nowhere near me. <laughs> what an introduction guys, what an introduction. <laughs>